Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. You may hear in my voice, I'm a little dramatic today. That's because I'm so excited about this unboxing, right? This is like one of the best Mega Construct sets of all time. I've still not unboxed it, even though I've owned it for like seven or eight months. I've just been waiting for the right moment, and now is the time. It's the Faithful versus Fallen character pack. This is the one, guys. Like, <laughs> I know I'm being dramatic, but this is the one. This is like dialed up to a million, right? Right. We've got all of these armors from across Halo Reach. They are mirrored perfectly in both Faithful and Fallen. We've got the EVA with Emil markings, which, let me tell you, on that zombie looks insane. Then we've got Noble Six, the Mark 5B, JFO, Spartan Operator, Hazard, Halo 3 style Master Chief, June, the Sniper, Scout, Commander, that's Spartan Carter, the Air Assault, Spartan Cat, and Grand Grandia, the Spartan George, and they just look insane. Like, they just look insane, and Mega's never made something like this before or ever again after. This was a one-of-a-kind, beautiful, just gift from the heavens, and I bought two of these when I was in Hong Kong. One of them I sent back to England. This one I'm sending to a good friend of mine, but to save packaging costs, he told me I could take it out the box, so I thought I'd do a review now. When I get back to England, I have a mint condition one of these. This one, I knew I was just going to unbox one day, so it's literally so damaged, because I just crammed it into a suitcase when I left Hong Kong. On the back, we can see just how gorgeous this thing truly is. We've got some of the other sets from this year, two of the drop pods. We've got the Arctic CTF Warthog and the Warzone Wasp with that gorgeous hunter. But this is what we're focusing on today. The faithful versus the fallen. Who's gonna fall? Who's faithful? Who's gonna stay faithful to the cause? I think, I mean, it's even Spartans and even zombies, right? So in any infection game, these would win for at least another few minutes before the zombies overwhelm them. Half and half, usually that's gonna stay in the uh, Faithful's favor, especially when you've got a uh, DMR that's good for headshots, the shotgun, the tactical one from Reach is great against zombies, and a battle rifle, chain gun, and grenade launcher. As long as you can focus that down a corridor, you're good. And we've also got a dual-wielding cat with a little plastic rod there, a translucent rod, which is just a great addition. Funny we gave the cat the dual-wielding. If I was uh, Mega and I was being smart about it, I would give that to the Halo 3 Spartan because you could dual-wield in Halo 3, right? But without further Further ado, let's break this open. I love the side packaging showing the two Emils squaring off. Really dope. Yo. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we have had some swords go loose here. Did I feel one fall onto my lap? Yeah, there we go. We've got the domain, the Forerunner Reclaimer saga, and the instruction manual showing off all of these gorgeous figures. This is also one of the most crazy prices online, right? If you want to get hold of this Faithful versus Fallen, you are paying, um, you can pay like $20 per figure if you want each individual one. Okay, this is interesting. This might be bad news. We have literally only only got six swords. That is bad news. <laughs> that's bad news, especially the fact that I'm sending this to someone. That's the worst news of it all. That's a that's a pretty big F, but I think you can buy these swords on eBay. We've got some green energy swords, but they're the wrong kind. Wait, wait, hold on. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Guys. Oh man. <laughs> There's two in every little packet. Yes! Yes! We're not going hungry tonight, boys. That's a big win. Oh, there we go. We do have all 10 swords. Can confirm. That's a big win. That's a big win. All right, let's take them aside and build up the base plate first. Mega have slowly been sort of, I don't know, every time they release now like a, a character pack, uh, particularly the 20th character pack, there's no display base for the figures, which I think is a shame. This one, instead of a display base like we saw in say like the Ultimate Collector's pack or the Outland Skirmish pack, this one has an actual sort of like diorama base plate, which I like. Um, I will never say anything bad about a diorama style base plate. I still like a nice black rigid sort of display for the characters, just so they all stay together. Cause obviously all the characters won't fit on this. Maybe I would have liked this more if it was uh, larger. So all 20 characters could fit on it. We're not gonna do that much complaining today. Let me tell you folks, especially when we, <laughs> we, we got our, <laughs> 
<laughs> we got our swords back. <laughs> we literally saved the day at the last second. Because, like, I also bought this set from China, so you never know. 12 base plates. All right, so apparently you meant to put 8 on here and 12 on the base plates. Sniper, DMR, battle rifle with a small scope, assault rifle, grenade launcher, dual-wield magnums, SMG, tactical shotgun, tactical shotgun, and chain gun. Heavy chain gun. Very nice. I think the best thing to do here is take them out uh, character by character, right? We've also got a backpack for George. Don't forget that. Let's start with the one that you all want to see, right? This is the Emil. Ha, oh, so nice, man. That silver scratching. Oh, it, it like, this is Emil's classic visor color. But on silver, Emil's scratching looks even more badass. Let me tell you, even more badass. I am a big fan of transitioning gummy figures. I love the ones in the power packs. The Spartan Aster from the new Halo Universe Series 1 blind bags is great. And this is no exception. That's just so dope. That green gummy over a black undersuit, so dope. And that silver visor, ah, I'm obsessed. These are like gonna be my new favorite figures. Also, the blue is just a really interesting choice. Like a light blue with that silver uh, secondary limbs. I always love when Mega has half of their limb one color half the other color because that black is clearly the jumpsuit so this would be a different color this is uh, like a, a boot and these two look so good together so that is the evas the emils so individually past that there isn't like a crazy amount to talk about from each variant because they all follow the exact same color scheme we have the light blue with the silver highlights we have the gummy green with the silver visor it is also a nice touch that the silver on these limbs match the silver of the fallen visor it's like that's what's left of the spartan and i think they're also going to have identical armor pieces throughout, uh, you know, matching Faithful and Fallen. We've got the Mark V Bs, looking phenomenal. The JFOs here, really nice. I love how the knife is still black on this one. I also think each Spartan is going to have the armor configuration of their Spartan, like a full JFO, right? Two operators, really dope. Two Hazops. I also, yeah, I'm always a big fan of Hazop helmets. They just look so cool, man. I can say that this should have been a colored ghillie suit. Like, if you're gonna use that armor, color it in. I know budget-wise, on a 20-figure set, you might not be able to. Then, if you can't, don't use the ghillie suit. But again, it is the scout configuration, so it does kind of make sense, but that should be colored. But I also get that this is meant to be, like, a very color-focused, like, identical running colors kind of set, so I, it does kind of make sense. We got the commander uh, with uh, two different shoulders is there looking really nice. They are really, really good. Uh, especially nice detail. Those visors are applied really well with the black sort of just like really making that silver shine. Love it. We got the two air assaults and the two grenadiers. And they're the last of the reach Spartans. I do also love that they covered noble team. That's a really nice touch. There are 10 different armors here repeated twice or so 20 characters. So I don't know how many uh, reach armors Mega had at their disposal at this time. It's probably only about 10. So this is all that they had maybe. And the last ones are the sort of the bonus. It makes sense. They're like at the bottom of the packaging. They are obscure to add. And this would make me think that maybe Mega didn't have 10 to use. They had just probably, they probably just brought this in. The Halo 3 Master Chief variant had only been added into like Halo Heroes and a New Dawn blind bag. So it was pretty new. Maybe this was just what they had available that year. And they thought like, let's just add it to the set. Why not? And also you can use like old school armors in Halo Reach too. Here they are, the faithful versus fallen. And we will give George his backpack. Apparently, yeah, there is no zombie backpack for the other George. Not that there really needs to be, but that is still a great touch to add for my, my Georgie boy. And we're gonna do what we did with the last set where we give the weapons that Mega have recommended us giving to the Spartans and then we'll comment whether we think they are good additions or not. So obviously all the fallen will give the energy swords to all of those characters with swords. You tell me this set, I mean, this set is still worth $150 anyway, in my opinion. Like this is a really, really good set with 20 characters. I mean, 20 characters, sometimes you'll pay as much as $10 per character and, the, and on the the black market, <laughs> the black market of Halo. So this kind of makes sense to me. On the instruction manual, we have the JFO with the tactical shotgun. Obviously, George has his chain gun and he has, uh, he holds it this way around so his head can rest on this uh, piece of his armor. The Emil should definitely have the tactical shotgun, so 
so that makes sense to me. Cool how they included two tactical shotguns, because like, you know, in zombies, it, it is really all about the tactical shotgun and the magnum. Air assault with the dual wield magnums still look really fresh. And we can even attach the air assault onto her little flying rod. The Hazop has the battle rifle. I would have given him the grenade launcher, because you know, he's hazardous situations. Noble six, I would have given the assault rifle to. Oh, look, we do. That caught me off guard, because this is not a Halo Reach assault rifle, which is a bit weird. Yes, the DMR goes to the commander. That's what I said in the Outland skirmish. I was like, why does the commander not have the DMR? That makes sense to me. Very nice. Then the Spartan Jun, the sniper rifle, the Halo 3 Spartan has the Halo 3 SMG. That makes sense. That's kind of canonical in my opinion. And the grenade launcher goes to the operator. Oh yeah, see, no, that makes sense that the operator has the grenade launcher. I actually think this is a pretty uh, sort of lore accurate selection of weapons to the certain characters. I'm going to show you a little diorama. So let's switch up, let's clear this, and let's make a nice little dio. Alright folks, here we go, my Faithful versus Fallen mini diorama. We got just a few little fun things going on here. I thought I'd put most of the action in the middle. We have the two Emils facing off because that is like one of the main selling points of the set. The cat is about to provide air assault support for this Grenadier, who is about to be overwhelmed by three different forces. I thought I'd put the heavy against three characters, that made sense to me. Then we've got the commander, he's leading up the uh, main assault with some brothers covering his back. That scout has got a good shot off on this hazard. A couple of, or oh, maybe two or three dead bodies lying around. They're making quick work of these zombies. Then we've got the JFO squaring off against the Grenadier. And the only Spartan to have fallen so far is the operator to Noble Six's sword. You know, it would be Noble Six that was able to take one of them out. This Noble Six is uh, lone wolfing it around the back. And all in all, just a phenomenal set, right guys? Like this is such a beautifully designed and executed set by Mega. One that I'm really proud of to own and something that I think will become a real collectible in the future. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. I hope you enjoyed this uh, bonus diorama at the end here. I'm going to make a really big diorama with these characters once I'm back in England. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks, and the Emils are signing off.